What is going on, R6 Nation, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another edition of Siege Analysis, where I take your gameplay footage and I break it down live to help you guys become better Rainbow Six Siege players. Today's video comes from, let's check it out. Who, was it? Who did it come from? I forget. JC the Gamer. He is a bronze one. His MMR is 2003. He says, I've been playing for a while now. This was my first game back. I've had to solo queue because I haven't found a decent team and would love to help you out. Love, love for you to help me out. All right, JC, let me see what I could do, buddy. The first thing I want to say, though, guys, is this. If you guys looking for teams, looking for people to play with, my stream chats are filled with people that are eager to find five stacks in a plethora of different ranks, whether it be from bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, all the way up to champ. My streams have a ton of people every single night that when I'm playing games, people on the side are forming teams in the chat and getting into lobbies with each other. So I highly suggest you tune into the streams to help you guys find teammates to play with because it's a really good source to do so. Now, uh, this footage is on uh, Consulate. My man is uh, running Habana. Fellow Habana main, brother. Love to see it. And uh, let's get right into the gameplay footage. Nice little pre-tap here into piano, which is a common area for uh, a dock or a vigil or anybody for that matter to be uh, looking for a spawn kill. Um, okay, so it looks like we've got a Thermite Thatcher Habana, which is going to be a very, very easy push here to get the wall open in Garage. Uh, not sure why he is going for Habanas here. Not sure. So in this situation, my first critique is going to be as a Habana. I want to see you go upstairs at the piano and get open the uh, bathroom hatch first and foremost because that is going to be a really good line of sight for you to play from if you guys can get piano control uh that's first and foremost uh second the reason i don't like you habaning that right there is because thermite has two charges and you guys have a thatcher here thermite can easily get this job and get the wall open with both charges without a sweat so i'd rather see you save your habanas for the hatch uh and maybe open up a line of sight elsewhere um you know maybe they have um uh, archives uh, hatch reinforced. I'd like to see you get that hatch open so you can maybe make a push from that way, uh, that side of the map. Um, so, you know, just my just that first critique there uh, that I would not be throwing my Habana pellets onto that wall. Okay, so two minutes in here, you have one drone left, three flash grenades. Drones going out, which is like I, what I like to see. You guys know I preach droning in the R6 Nation. So you, you, you spot the guy behind white van. I don't hear any comms right now. I'm assuming that the comms are muted. Um, but maybe you are talking. Maybe you're solo queuing. You did say you were. So maybe this is a solo queue match. All right. Yeah, your mechanics need some work. So first of all, I can see that maybe your sensitivity is too high. Because when you just went for this kill here, you were all over the place. And it took you a while to recover from that move. And in that situation, a, a team that's higher level, they're going to hear you shooting for the guy that ran out of yellow. And you're going to get shot from garage like this. You're, you're gone. At this level, you get away with it. But I think maybe your sensitivity might be too high. Uh, maybe if you see this video, you can let us know what your sensitivity is at. Uh, because watch what happens here, guys. He hears the run out, and he the recovery, maybe it's too slow, actually. Maybe it's too slow, because you, you get this kill, but then you're looking at the ground, and the recovery to go back up, the recovery from here, looking at the ground, to looking up here is where I want you to be focused immediately afterwards, because you remember, there's a guy behind white van, right? So... That recovery right there, that slow moving back up, you want you're not gonna get away with at the higher rank. So maybe it's um it's too slow. I think your sensitivity might be too slow. You might want to crank that up a little bit. My suggested huge tip here, guys. If you guys are have slow sensitivity and you your gameplay kind of looks like this, where you're moving kind of clunky. Option number one is to put your sensitivity up two to three clicks every round. 
I would start with two clicks first every round. So if you're playing on 42, for example, go to 44 and play that round. If it feels good and you say, you know what, I think I could go a little bit faster, crank it up to 40, um, uh, 46, so on and so forth. The next um, little piece of advice I'd give you, go into your options, your controller options, and select classic, the classic controller rotation. I got this tip from Matt who plays in my streams all the time. I was on the updated rotation and man, from going from updated back to classic, classic you just move better you you're quicker uh it doesn't feel as clunky it feels like it's reacting to what you're doing on the sticks so try that out first guys use the classic ro controller rotation in the in the settings try that out the diffuser has been secured mm. all right so you're in a 2v4 here it's definitely winnable it's always winnable 2v4 is always winnable uh you're looking for a run out from uh top window Thatcher, nice kill here on the uh, the Jaeger. See, nice kill right there on that dock. Great round so far, my man. Um, no droning going on here, which is scaring me. Uh, you do hear footsteps here. Good job, get on your drone. Always get on your drone, guys. The more information you have in Rainbow Six Siege, the better you're going to be. Now, I like this right here. He's going for the plant behind your uh, van. Thatcher is kind of covering him. Nobody's pushing. Great plant. Run out. Good job. Now get your get your drone set up on bomb, which you didn't do, but that's that's okay. It's a tip right there. I want you to set up your drone on bomb right now because you literally the game's over right now. You don't need to peek anything. Nice kill. Yeah, your aim your aim and recoil needs a little bit of fine tuning. Uh, that can all come with sensitivity settings because I can tell you're a little bit choppy on your aim. It's a little bit all over the place. It's not like the recoil control is not fine and precise as you would see at the higher levels. Um, and if you guys go back to some of the videos I created, I could show you how to control specifically the Type 89, uh, which is a really, really difficult gun to control. But once you control it, man, this gun's a beast. Let me tell you. So I just want to see this again real quick so we can get an idea where that recoil... Yeah, so I could tell that you don't really understand that Habana recoil pattern too well because it the gun is controlling you. You're not controlling the gun. So that's another tip I want you to work on is recoil control with the Type 89. Recoil control with every single gun. Learn those recoil controls and how to drag the stick down to counteract the recoil on the gun. So now we're in a 1v1. You don't need to peek here. You don't need to peek. You have a drone on bomb. This should be a GG. Nice, nice round, man. Is that an ace? I think that was an ace. So, yeah, man, listen. Um, from what I saw in this clip, you um you have the you have the basics down. Um, you have the basics down. What I want to see you improve on is recoil control. Uh, I want to see you improve on your mechanics because your mechanics need work. Your recoil control mechanics need work. It's not smooth uh, and it, 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 you, it's a little clunky. Work on your sensitivity too. Find a better sensitivity. I think you can crank the sensitivity up a little bit um, and uh, kind of have a more fluid movement for the game. Uh, so you can you know, basically compete at the higher level. In this situation right here, I don't want you Habana in garage. I want you to go opening hatches you, as a Habana. When you have a thermite thatcher here, you don't need to do be here. You, I want you to be hitting hatches in bathroom and possibly hitting archive hatches and making a push from backside. In this situation, it worked out for you. Uh, you know, nice droning right here. You found where the guy was behind Van. 2v5. Well done. Um, you know, you, you played this round correct. But I could just see at the higher levels, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you because your, your mechanics are not where they need to be to compete higher that just takes gameplay man that just takes playing the game um improving the game playing at a higher level upping that sensitivity one to two ticks every single round you're not going to even notice it when you do it so do that um and then focus on your on your crouching uh it seems like your crouching is a little clunky not smooth um and your aim man your aim your mechanics which are two huge things um and that's really what takes you to the next level in Rainbow, guys. It, it's aim, it's mechanics, and it's having a team. Those three elements will get you to Diamond in no time. 
if you don't have aim, you're not going to be able to rank up. If you don't have good mechanics, you're not going to be able to rank up. If you don't have a teammate, you know, a full team with comms, you're not going to be able to rank up. You solo queued your way here, and this was a very nice round. I want to applaud you on that. Um, and thank you again for the footage, man. I do appreciate it. And I hope that you can rank up in Rainbow Six Siege and take these tips and work on them now, man. Take that sensitivity up. Work on those mechanics and that crouch mechanism. Maybe invest in a scuff controller so you have the ability to just click a paddle uh, like this right here. This is a scuff controller and there's paddles on the back of it where you just have to click this to crouch. And uh, maybe get yourself some uh, some grips for your um, your thumb pads and you know really take your game to the next level man you're right there you're on the brink i can tell um it just it's hours played brother the more hours you play the higher level of gameplay you play at the better you're going to become man i wish you the best of luck guys guys if you want to be featured in my next rainbow six siege video um please do not hesitate to send me an email to it's what's up though at gmail.com and i will feature you in the next edition of siege analysis you guys have a great weekend see you later